Hi, welcome to the Airtime 2.1 beta sneak peek. Uh, I'm going to be going over connecting to Airtime with other programs. My name is Josh McLean. Uh, first, I want to talk a little bit about what this is going to allow you to do. So currently with Airtime, there's uh, no real ability to do live broadcasts and to transition between an, an Airtime pre-recorded show and a live broadcast is a little bit of a pain, but in Airtime 2.1, uh, the developers made this really, really easy, and it's um, a really elegant transition. So uh, let's get started. The first place that you're going to go to take a look at all of this is if you go to System and then you click Streams, you're going to see some new input stream settings right here. Now I've already went ahead and set all these up, so I'll be able to connect to Airtime with Mix, which is an open source DJing program that I'm going to use for this demonstration. A um, couple things in here. The switch transition fade is actually pretty neat. I have it set to three seconds right now, and what's going to happen when I switch between my airtime scheduled playout and my live DJing is it's going to give me a three second smooth transition between the two and fade them into each other. So I'm going to show you how that works right now. Uh, you're going to see that these there these three source streams right now scheduled play, which is airtime's uh, default playout, uh, which is your airtime scheduled shows and all all of that. Uh, show source, which is you can program shows uh, to have specific login information, so DJs can only connect to your stream during their shows and are only allowed to switch onto the show source during their approved times. And then you have master source, which at any time you can connect to the master source and turn it on um, and it'll override everything below it so it'll override scheduled play so you don't want to set up a master source and give out the password to everybody unless you uh, really trust them because at any time they can take over uh, your stream so we're gonna click listen right now we're gonna listen to my show that's on Let them go. and uh, so this is this is my airtime show that's on right now. Now I have mix running down here, and I've already got mix set up to connect to my airtime server. So for mix, if you take a look in preferences and under live broadcasting, you're going to be able to put in all the fields from your master or show source information. Now I'm going to check enable live broadcasting and click OK. All right, it says that Mix is successfully connected to the server. So now you see this little light up here light up, and it means that there's a master source connected, but because it hasn't been switched on, we're still listening to schedule to play out. So I'm gonna go ahead and start up a song on Mix, and now I'm gonna switch the source over right up here. So you're gonna hear a transition in a second, and there's a transition. And now it transitioned over to Bill Withers, which is playing in Mix right now. And one of the really cool things about Mix in particular is that you are able to use your mic with it. So you can actually take full control like you would a real radio station. Um, like I said, this is open source and free. Pretty cool stuff. Can pan over to this other song. And then I'll pan over to that. So you'll notice it's on a couple of second delay behind whatever you're doing in the live DJ. That's that's normal. Um, and all right, so I'm going to switch back over to my uh, my scheduled play that's on right now. So I'm going to uncheck this master source right here. and it transitions back over to our live show and Boy Without God. So that is um, a quick preview of how you're going to be able to connect to airtime with third-party programs uh, in version 2.1. As I said, my name is Josh McLean. Uh, feel free to email me if you have any questions. I'm um, more than happy to help.